Purgatory 11. What are the three stages of Purgatory following the Last Judgment, according to St. Thomas Aquinas? St. Thomas Aquinas, who is the doctor of doctors, did not have time to write his Summa of Theology he died before. In spite of everything in his writings of youth, we see that he describes a purification in three stages. There is the beginning, terminus a quo, the end, terminus ad quiem, and the unfolding between the two. For St. Thomas Aquinas, at the beginning of the purification, the soul that is saved, that has received individual judgment, begins from a state of pride. The soul has some remnants of sin attached within because what of earthly life scares somewhere within. These remnants must therefore be purified. In the course of this purification phase, the absence of God, the loneliness, causes his soul to be set on fire. The soul thirsts for presence. The soul suffers from such absence. And this suffering is a fire that purifies these remnants of sin progressively. This is why St. Paul states that a house which may have been built with hay or straw will be saved through a fire. Therefore, it takes some time for this fire to function. Things don't happen overnight, but at the end of the day, because a man cannot resist suffering like this for very long, the third stage or phase arrives. The final state of one who has been purified is a state of the poor. The person having gone through suffering desires only one thing, that God, if he is willing, reveals himself. It is in the attitude of one who at Mass says, Lord, I am not worthy to receive you, but only say a word and I will be healed. Then the soul being ready, having also paid the debts for the sorrows by the sufferings which were undergone, the soul can enter into the beatific vision. As we can see, St. Thomas Aquinas does not describe the psychological mechanisms that are in play, but in the following video, in a much more informative way, through St. Catherine of Genoa, we will see how vividly such things happen.